Привет всем любителям бокса. Сегодня в выпуске я подготовил для вас бой Тайсон Фьюри от Товален. Но прежде чем мы начнем, я попрошу вас поставить лайк и подписаться на канал. Это очень сильно поможет продвижению. Я сделал для вас нарезку боя из всех 12 раундов. Комментировать его не стану. Единственное, что скажу, то ли это от Товален такой великолепный боксер, то ли Тайсон Фьюри готовился где-то в барах. Приятного просмотра. Whether it's the UK fans who travel so well and love to come to Fury Fight Weekends. That's a big reach advantage going into a heavyweight championship fight. No championship. There's that jab out there. It comes with a left hand. That's the shot right there. I got you, Ching. And Deontay Wilder's watching. Four. His opponent. He can either stay on the outside and try to lower in Tyson Fury and set traps. And that's, that's seemingly what he's doing right now. He wants to get inside. So a decent opening round for the challenger, Otto Bali. Soldier's father. See how Bali, he's under his feet. You know, you know, his legs are good. He's always on balance to Tyson Fury. Well, Ben Davison, the trainer for Tyson Fury, has great respect for what Bali can offer up tonight. He says he thinks Otto, it's been widely reported, it is talked about often, and both guys... Louis Gamache told me that Otto Valine is staying calm and he's happy about that. He wants him to continue moving his feet. Danger in closing that gap, as he does there with a left hand. Good body shot from Valine. Team Valine kind of let the cat out of the bag in the fighter meeting. They kind of alluded to wanting to go to the body and the chest. Himself, as you mentioned, Tim, to be mentally composed and just as he has fury in that neutral corner. Tyson Fury hadn't really hit Valine up until this point. He just got hit. Continue to employ the strategy that works, but Fury had his moment. For Tim Bradley, Andre Ward are inside with you. You know, a, a younger person. I've learned a lot from, from my daughter, and she's marvel that his boxing IQ. Trying to land that right uppercut. He's not looking for a place to fall. He's trying to get his back. He's trying to get that shot back. Win. Like what else would he be? But in this game, listen, it's just in me. I know it's in me. I love that response from Bali. You know, think about a guy who stationed this week. All the events were over there. He said, they had that giant. It's not for me. That was a sign. Wisely, you know, you gotta know when to fight and when not to. Laying traps, setting traps, when eventually you have the mega fight rematch with a guy that there's a cut. We will look at the replay and check as to how that came about. But Tyson Fury just on the corner of the right brown of Fury. You'll see the stream of blood. Cut. What does that mean? And what's the difference between a clash? You know, Bernardo, what did you find out? Bobby Bennett is so a left hand by Otto Valine. Is there has to be a sense of urgency? The ringside position and the ref consult. It's dangerous territory. Right now, I would tell my fighter right now, Tyson Fury, you gotta just assume because you've never heard of a fighter that it's a foregone conclusion, he's gonna get knocked out in a few rounds. This division and the history of it is filled with shocking upsets. Nope, it's the real drama. Inside that chamber of truth, 24 by 24. Deontay Wilder wasn't watching before. I'm sure somebody's tempted. To... And Valine has to target it. You know the referee to jump in there because that's a bad cut and it's getting in his eyes. Ringside physician as well who consults with Tony Wings and said, if that thing starts getting towards the bone. Because Fury keeps swiping at it. I've been there before. I know what he's going through right now. A Tyson Fury. Right. Reporter Bernardo Asuna. Bernardo, does he realize that that was caused from a punch and that he could lose by TKO if it worsens? Does he? Uh, he's under the impression that it could be, if it stopped, it would. Round five here. Drama in Vegas. Fury Ooh. and Valine. Defeated Swede, who came here twenty rep. He was ready for this when he got the call. He said, it's my time. I'm confident. And was it a headbutt or a punch? 
Paul Hayes dealing with the cut. It was, uh, how does that change the gut look? What's that, sorry? He's uh, got plenty of art as he's shown before, so hopefully the referee gives him uh, understands that huh? and keeps him in the fight. But I'll probably get the back on track. There's a little bit he's on track, even though he's been cut, still winning them rounds. By the way, look, great shot by Bernardo getting right on top of that, getting Ben Davis. Great work. Which is right into the range of the best punch of body, which is that overhead line. Notice that there's also a punch gash. The swelling is on the lid, which now is expanded and has a cut. If, if his record is less than stellar, you don't have to take you don't take it light at training camp. You treat every fight. 30 to 1 odds in all the Vegas sports books. 30 to 1. Joey Gamash, the former world champion. Bernardo's with him. I want him to take risks. Man, he's got to win rounds. He's got to be in there and not leave any doubt. Risks. You're in a spot like this. You're facing the champ. Take, get through this rough moment and close the show. That's right. And you know, on Tyson Fury, the ringside position. He could advise to stop it. I can see. And now look at him. Realizing. Left uppercut on the inside. Trying to smother on the inside. Leaning forward. Searching for an answer. Pounding on the inside. Stop the fight immediately to protect the fighter. Good job from Tyson Fury by acting like a fighter, even though he's cut. By the way, the cut has worse lean, so he's not getting hit by those looping like Yeah, but he got that head can just, you know. It's a bad move for Valin to do what he did. And Fury's going to be keeping an eye on everything that Valin does. Moving forward. Tyson Fury going for the knockout. Look at that right hand behind the jab, doesn't he? Joe Tim, this is what you have to do. You got a lot of weight on your shoulders, and Tyson Fury has to answer that call. For Tyson Fury he told me, look, the cut is big, it's getting bigger, and it's dangerous, and it's a dangerous spot to put Vaseline on it. There was a big left hand that Otto William landed in the third round. And the referee told the weeks that it was a cut. They used replay to say no, it was a clean punch. As he is stalking. Valine has been so game. And he's fatigued. He's fatigued, yeah. And you see Fury coming on strong. Valine's punches have no steam on right now as well. Three punch combination from Fury. Especially when he gets close. Valine's trying to put, keep that hit. Tendency for a clash of heads. Coming to the end of seven. The drama continues here with an all okay, A lot of Vaseline on the eye of Tyson Fury. Surprised that Tony Weeks didn't catch that. He caught it. 68-65 on Dre's scorecard. That's scorecard. The lean right now trying to figure out a way to get close to land something hard over the top. Right there, Aaron Valin. Nice little short. Anything that Tyson Fury does at the moment. There's a one-two from the champ. Calm on you time and time again. Just holding that weight against you. All the different things that happen for the full 12 rounds, not half of the fight. But Aaron Valin doesn't happen in 12 rounds one time as well. Meanwhile, Tyson Fury has been thrown deep out of the WWE to go on to a controversial draw. He knows he has a size advantage. He's stepping inside and he's going to go. Right hand right in. Short left hook comes in. This has been a strong, punishing round. You realize how many tens and tens of millions of... Here's Tyson Fury with the connect advantage. And if Valin doesn't have an answer, he may not be around long because fatigue is set in. And Valin has also forgot to hit the body. He knows deposits long ago. And instead, it's been a steady diet. Up. Joey, this is a cool sport. You said target the cut. What does Otto need to do here? Now, how does he get this six foot nine? You know, we worked the body early on, but now we're looking to come up top. Come on, Otto, with a jab and overhand left. Thank you. We'll let you get back to work, Joe. It came on the heels of one of the most brutal knockouts you'll ever see from the late Arturo Gatti. Painted down the right.
right side of the face of Tyson Fury as he comes in with a right hand. And Tyson Fury pushing him back, rolling in. Uppercut, wasn't he? Just missed it. I don't believe this. Tully does not want to be in that position. That's just a matter of time. Fury. With every punch thrown, we have blood splatter right on us. Right hand comes in against the lead. Ali, with the spirit, going down to the body. He's in with heavy shots right now on the ropes. Class outsized and he's taken. Tyson Fury. Fury is dominating. Can he finish? Oh, good body shot came in. Sometimes it's about a feeling. This isn't a game plan. Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury feels like doing this. He has to recover since that third and fourth round. It was all the body shots that Tyson Fury. That's what zapped all the energy and the power for Mexican Independence Day. On this traditional that Tyson Fury gets a Mexican style. <laughs> Tyson Fury, you're talking about that. Through this tent, somehow. Let's show you the real speed. The video champion is real. And all of our leaders are feeling the way of Tyson Fury right now. Who's acting like a tough, grizzled veteran that he is. Of course, the widely reported rematch, the mega event with the Octane Wilder need to pass a test to get back to each other. Punishment. Oh, he took a lot of punishment in that last round. There's no doubt about it. There have been to 98. And Dre's scorecard goes 98. I mean, he needs to go down to the body. That's exactly how he broke him down. Nice shot right there. But he's hand hitting right now. He's throwing. And out of that lane is catching. There's some tape loose on the right wrist. Look at the right eye of Fury at this point. Oh, he goes to the body well there. Final minute here coming up of round number 11. How will Fury close the show? It's so is Tyson Fury. Listen, we are in a new golden age right now, but there's boxing. It sure does. And right now, Tyson Fury. For Tyson Fury to give the undefeated lineal who's kept his poise, who stayed calm, and he kept Tyson Fury calm. So Fury can start to assert himself. There's a big left hand trying to hit the jackpot kind of punch from the time fight has offered. The lead all of a sudden has a chip and he's back in business. Absolutely everything. That's the direction Tyson Fury needs to go for the remainder of this fight. Tyson Fury, you better keep that right hand up. What an incredible... Probably can't allow himself to be tied up by Tyson Fury. Heavyweight championship on the line. A 20 and 0 undefeated, a challenge. He got a bloodbath.